take a trip, get the band back together, see moments as possibilities, take a wrong turn. This is life, but life is so rarely this. So promise to do it again next year, only in Minnesota. Big time, Big Ten border battle football is here. It's Minnesota and Iowa. Dogs on three. One, two, three, go. Let's have a great one now. Let's go. Let's go. You're playing for the pig. It's like a ball game. We've already got the little brown jug. Now we need to go get the damn pig. Floyd of Rosedale is up for grabs today as longtime Big Ten rivals hook up and both want to win the game today to remain tied in the lead for the Big Ten West. Out of the shotgun is Rudolph. Back to pass, has time. Now the pressure comes, fires on the far side, has Smith at the 40 in a first down. We got them on third and long three times and we got, they converted two third downs and they got one on the pass interference and when we were on the sideline after they scored, we knew like we got this team in the bag. I said, once we go out there, and get them on third down, that we're going to dominate this team, and that's exactly what we did the entire game. Spot of the ball at the center of the field. May in motion, gets a quick, a quick handoff to the sweep left, has a room, has the corner, has a first down, and he's out of bounds and a late penalty, a late hit on the Hawkeyes on the far side. Two flags fly. Here's May in motion again on the jet sweep. Handoff to him! Touchdown! You know, I had Cobb out there blocking. Cobb made a great block, and that was the block that really sprung me. Isaac held this block out on the edge, and uh, I was able to just use my speed to outrun those other guys that got stuck on the inside. From the Iowa 30, play action. Back to passes. Rudock has all day. Firing deep for Mark Medley. Intercepted! Green body Calhoun is third INT of the year. He caught and fell. It'll be first and ten for the Gophers. Into the win now, Minnesota. Play action, Leitner to pass. Has time. There's the quick change. Going deep for Donovan Jones, and he has it! Touchdown! Minnesota Golden Gophers, 44 yards! Anytime you're able to be successful running the ball, the play action eventually is there. And I think it was a good example uh, uh, Saturday that, that uh, as Iowa worked harder and harder to stop the run, that opened up some, some pretty big scenes for us to get the ball down the field. Firing deep, has Max Williams out there. Max dives, he makes the catch, but he's out of bounds. He was all alone. I think it was a tad bit overthrown, but Max made a, a good adjustment to be able to reach out and lay out for it and, and dive for that ball and make a great catch on the sideline. I, I wasn't 100% sure if he was in or not, but after watching the replay, I knew that it was going to be overturned and we were going to be able to go back out there and keep the drive alive. He used every inch of the six foot four inch frame all the way down to the toenail. I felt my foot dragging, so I knew my feet were in, or foot was in, but I thought when I hit the ground or something, I bobbled, and that's why they came running and saying incomplete. So then when they said I was out of balance, I was all confused, and that's right away when it got reviewed. Leitner looks, pressure come, lobs over the middle, Williams, touchdown! Max Williams! The Gophers by a couple of touchdowns, 20-7, to play action working again. When you go in with such a big lead, it sometimes gets tough. You know, you don't want to take away the, the joy the kids feel, and they work so hard for those opportunities, but as a coach, you know there's 30 minutes left. And I really challenged them that, that first series in the second half. I said, it'll, it'll tell us what kind of group we've become. The Gophers will go to the locker room, leading 35 to seven. Go bury his ass. Make him tired. Make him wore out. Then you know you've got victory. That's when you know you earn victory. Yes, Lay your ass up front. Let's go. Oh! When you come out after halftime and you know you get the ball, it, it, you have to make a statement to get your momentum back. And going out there and having those long drives to really keep it going, just kind of just kind of had that feeling throughout the whole game that, you know what, we're going to take it to these guys the whole time. Here's play action. Rolling right. It's a third touchdown of the day. Max 
Lance Williams from Mitch Leidner on the bootleg action, express action to the right. And they're cranking the heat up. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, you know what? That type of pressure, we haven't seen much of. A lot of the credit goes to the secondary, able to hold up and not allow Jake Ruddock anywhere to throw the ball. the victory formation and the golfers on the near sideline are all ready to sprint and KJ May is leading the charge to Florida Roseville. Off they go to get the prized pig and Minnesota has beat Iowa 51-14. It, it's really it's really cool as a player when the fans storm the field and, and they're they're taking pictures with you and, and trying to touch the pig because you know, this rivalry means a lot to them. It's a big fan base rivalry and our fans hate Iowa and just for them to be able to come out there and experience that moment with us. And, and as the state of Minnesota, it's really it's a really cool opportunity for us. Got the little brown jug, now we got the pig, and then we got the Buckeyes. So it doesn't get any better than that, but let me tell you something. We forget all that today. We're going to enjoy the moments. This is what college football is all about. I promise you what I'm more proud of than anything. You came to work. We got the work and it's what happened.